Hey there, top model fans. I'm Jager Weatherby from Wetpin Entertainment. We all know how tough it can be to spend months living rent-free in a gorgeous house, pursuing your modeling dreams, getting to meet the most well-known designers and photographers, and knowing that even if you lose, you still have national exposure and a good shot at landing work. It's a heavy cross to bear. So we here at Wet Pink can understand why some of the ANTM models have been a little bitchy in the past. If bitchy sounds too harsh, we can call it creatively crazy instead. Either way, ladies, no hard feelings, okay? Let's run down our list of ANTM's most memorably bitchy. Let's start from the beginning, because even when Top Model was super low budge, they could still afford a few cranky contestants. Remember Robin Manning of Cycle One? Robin was the ultra-religious one who seemed to think that hypocrisy and condescending remarks were A-OK -okay as long as she was holding the Bible. After mounting her high horse and refusing to do a nude photo shoot, Tyra pointed out that backstage Robin opened her blouse and shook her tatas around for Mr. J, but that was totally fine for some reason. We also need to make special mention of Elise Sewell, also of Cycle One, who had an infamous rant about how bitchy the other girls were, which some might consider was a very bitchy thing to do. Bitchiness is an onion. Cycle 7 gave us two particularly cranky pants models. First up, Melrose Bickerstaff. Melrose was the high-strung contestant who, in her very first photo shoot, complained to Mr. J that things were taking too long. Mel must not have realized that Jay's platinum hair is actually a shield, protecting him from the crazy things models say in his presence. Anywho, Melrose got yelled at. Big time yelled at. After that, she alienated most of her fellow contestants with her know-it-all attitude. Melrose wasn't there to make friends, and she didn't make any. Runner-up, schmunner-up, she reached her goal. The second Cycle 7 contestant in a permanently bitchy mood was Monique Calhoun. While Melrose had her moments, Monique's way of combating them crossed the border into cray-cray town. One night, she actually rubbed her dirty underwear on Melrose's bed. There aren't enough ewes or blucks in the world to cover that one. Monique also poured water on another contestant's bed because she wanted it for herself. Reasonable, no? And we didn't forget about you, Jade Cole. The self-proclaimed biracial butterfly of Cycle 6 did a lot of things real butterflies don't normally do, like cursing during a CoverGirl commercial shoot and making up a rap about another contestant's lumpy skin. It seemed like Jade lived in a world with a population of one prior to the show and had to remind her competitors every day that they were trespassing. Yes, we miss her too. Sadly, we don't have enough time for them all, so here's looking at you, Ava Pigford, Chelsea Hursley, Renee Alway, Dominique Rygard, and, well, I've run out of breath. Thank you, ladies, for the creatively crazy memories that will warm our hearts on the coldest of days. And be sure to check out wetpink.com slash America's Next Top Model for all the latest features, gossip, and exclusives. Bye.